Uh, let's start it. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's officially a seaweed beer now. Yeah. Said it's good for your, your pores. How do I look? Youth is just the youth that's coming blossoming out. out of your face. And to really feel travel, you have to be something you're not. And to just be free and be naked, that's what experience is all about. It's a good way to break the ice. Let's get naked. Yeah. And then everyone goes, okay. And they relax all of a sudden. You want to swim? Yeah. Oh, this is unique. I can do the naked thing. It's going to be hairy and weird. Keep my passport safe. <laughs> this show just got a little... <laughs> Remember for the hairiest ass you've ever fucking seen. This is crazy. So what we took out of this experience, what I think we won't be doing is jumping in the ocean again. You guys want to make a really small beer? <laughs> I was thinking, look at all the seaweed. That'd be cool if seaweed was the ingredient. Maybe that kelp though, I'll research it. I have a feeling it's pretty good. Actually, Pat, you want to go try it? Okay. It's pretty. <laughs> I'd call it seaweedy. Not bad. It's a little briny. Let's do some research on this because that's that's actually great. Okay. You know, one of the things that can detract from the essence of the moment. You're worried about something. My mind uh, rolling back to a flashback memory of, of us jumping in the ocean and chewing on seaweed and us actually having to use that for the beer. You believe me, the seaweed's that's the that's the ingredient. I think it's 100 percent the way to go. Right. But obviously, we're not gonna harvest handfuls of seaweed and like put them in our bag and put them on the plane or something. Obviously not. You know, so <laughs> we're gonna need to find uh, somebody to, to help with All that right. maybe. I'm on board. All right. Sorry I, I ate seaweed before I thought. Wouldn't be the first time. And he said, well, well first things first, let us go to Accra. Akara, Akara, Akara. Akara? Akara. I think it's Akara, yeah. yeah. And talk to Petter. He will have the guiding light to the seaweed world because they brew a beer with seaweed. And I was like, dude, this is great. We're oh, here. Hey, We've hey, made it. Hey, oh, Petter. Welcome great to, see to the you. Wilderness Brewers. Oh, Hello. my God. Yes, Thank thanks for having us. Thank you. Petter had the seaweed laid out for us. And he had some samples, yeah. Yeah, and that's when we first said this umami character could work. It's straight up tobacco. This is very. It's like opening up a humidor. Very, very healthy though. Healthy. Yeah. Do you mind if I eat a piece? Yes. This reminds me of what we had yesterday, naked in the ocean. This is my preference. I think this one could go in a stout. We brewed with mushrooms before, and I think that this one can play off like mushrooms. I think we'll consider even a smoke porter. I think I found the secret ingredient we're looking for. And that's the one. We learned how important seaweed is to the ocean. So pets are very helpful. He literally had a, a, a Rolodex of people that we could go to. And one of them, Agnes, who her knowledge and passion, you don't get that a lot. She got what we were doing. She invited us to her lab, business uh, area. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. We have a brewery in Arizona. We come to these places and we get inspired by the people are, the places, and as we're Walking around, we're going. There's seaweed everywhere. That's kind of yeah. funny. And so you didn't come here for the seaweed. But no, we always we never know what we're gonna do yeah, until okay. until we get yeah. here. The thing with using seaweed is that when you taste it just raw, it will not give you the same taste when you add it to other ingredients. Okay. Okay. And that's where the umami comes in. If you ask me, I would probably start somewhere in this category. These yeah. two species of red algae. We got to taste through all of them through that exercise we kind of found what would work in beer. You know, this is a new thing for us to eat and we need to be educated, we need to know what's in there. 12 grams of protein, 38 grams of pro carbohydrate, I mean I would go hiking in Arizona with a bag of this. This, this probably only weighs like a kilo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What I learned about seaweed the most is it's an ingredient that matters that if we focus on it we can save the world and people like Agnes are who we should be listening to. What's that? It's like uh, Faroe Island seaweed. Ah! It's here! Holy shit. I'm gonna make a beer with this. Okay, so that's 
pure ocean. Yeah. This this aroma brings me back to Pharaoh. You get a smell of that? That smells like going from island to island. Yeah, it's like sitting on the beach and having some yeah. seaweed just slap you in the face. Yeah. So you, we did that naked. What I love about this moment for me is I can well, still see Agnes and I can see the mountains. I can smell the sea air. This is bringing all that back. Ideally, what are you going for? What do you want the end product to be? I want a beer that is more chocolate forward than seaweed forward. I don't want someone to initially say, I taste seaweed. I still have seaweed stuck in my throat, so I might need some water. We're gonna add probably 75% here. It looks like seaweed. It's got the visual appearance. Kind of red, purplish in color, relatively briny, so. You can see the salt crystals. I love that. We augmented the water profile so that this salt was gonna add to salt yeah. that we've already added to the beer. Uh, let's throw it in. All right. Yeah. It's officially a seaweed beer now. Yeah. No going back. Yep. I love it. It's uh, hydrating and becoming and the aroma is coming out yeah. even more as it heats. This was what was growing all over those cliffs, like dangling down. And every time the water went up, it would recede, and this stuff would shimmer just well, like go. that. That's back to yeah. maybe give that a little try because we'll get that sweet chocolate and then. So well, obviously the salt has to fall off and a bunch of different I get, things. But I like the sour character on the outside of it. Yeah. You get that roasted barley character. Mm -hmm. it goes perfectly with this. Yeah. That's a stout. Thanks for not messing it up, Chase. Appreciate that. Chase, what are we doing? Almost done. <laughs> Halfway. Do you, uh, do you agree with our idea to put seaweed in beer? Yeah, absolutely. All right. That's why he works here, because he won't say no. The base is decadence. Some sweetness, some chocolate, but we want to be really light. Essentially, the alcohol in the beer will extract the flavor and the aromatics. Um, tends to be, yeah, it's going to it's pull it out. Just really subtle cues and not a lot of bitterness or, or harsh characteristics. I'm not sure what it's doing, but I can tell this is very healthy. I think your face is actually the big, big one. So it's good for your, your pores. How do I look? Yeah. Oh, the youth is just the youth is coming blossoming out? out of your face. I went from 35 to what? 20. 20? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 15 years off. You got Guys, a new liver, man. Seaweed literally has made me younger. So I guess we'll just knock it in the tank, ferment it out for a couple weeks, mm -hmm. and then come back to it, uh, and then go from there. This knowledge that we've gained today, we know we don't want to go too heavy. The cacao nibs and lactose sugar will help balance. And then um, release this beer to the world. I want the story to be as good as the beer. Side by side, you have this great liquid that you've created, and you have this great story. Well, and the story we was definitely there. The beer itself was the challenge. Everyone in our restaurant's gonna wonder why they're craving sushi. So obviously, viscous hey. and all the things. Oh, that's nice. If you don't like it, fuck off. I don't care. We made a really cool beer with a great story. I care I, if you don't like it. I really I'm gonna care. look I'm at the reviews and I'm gonna go back to our team. Yeah. I do care. <laughs>